In this video, we are going to look at the interspinous gap change, a possible sign for lumbar instability. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. We have previously discussed the passive lumbar extension test for lumbar instability here on the channel. Ahn et al. in 2015 proposed a different test, namely the interspinous gap change, and report a sensitivity of 82% and a specificity of 61% when compared to lumbar flexion extension radiographs using a cutoff value of 10 degrees for sagittal rotation and 4 mm of sagittal translation. As there is no consensus on the classification of lumbar instability, and this is the first study to evaluate this test, the clinical value is at most moderate. To conduct the test, the patient stands at approximately one leg length away from the treatment table with the feet shoulder width apart. The patient is asked to flex the back forward with both hands on the edge of the treatment table. Examine the patient's spine from top to bottom and pay attention to the gaps between the spinous processes. If one level appears bent or the interspinous gap appears wider, focus on that region in the following step. Continue by palpating the spine in cranial to caudal direction and evaluate the spaces between the spinous processes and the position of the upper compared to the lower spinous process. If during inspection and palpation an area appears to have a wider superior inferior or anterior posterior gap, place one thumb on each of the spinous processes. Then ask the patient to extend the spine by pushing the pelvis towards the treatment table while the examiner palpates the spinous processes. The test is considered positive if the interspinous space abruptly becomes narrow compared with those of other levels or if the position of the upper spinous process in relation to the lower spinous process changes anteriorly or posteriorly from its original state. Furthermore, tenderness is usually detected during the flexion extension motion when palpating interspinous spaces with wide gaps. Alright, maybe you want to check out our video on the passive lumbar extension test next by clicking on the left or check the references in the video description. Down there you can also find links to our ebook and mobile app, to our other social media accounts and more. Now, before you leave, I highly encourage you to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Hit the like button if this video was helpful to you. And as always, thanks for watching. This was Andreas from PhysioTutors. I'll see you next time. Bye.